Hi everyone. Well, started to go pretty fast now. Averaging quite close, if not exceeding at times 20 knots. And the wind is a little up and down. 17 to sometimes 24 knots. So it's difficult to get the right sail plan without being underpowered and overpowered very quickly. Obviously we're early, early stages of the game, so don't want to be pushing too hard, don't want to break anything. Um, but yeah, apart from that, all pretty good. It's getting warm. And uh, warm is good, but uh, it will soon be very warm. Particularly when I'm charging the batteries downstairs with the engine. It becomes almost unbearable. And this little roof here gets a bit of, uh, allows a bit of circulation going, so it's pretty good for that. But uh, it does get uh, a bit sticky down here. It's like a cave. Sometimes it's very hard to get it warm, but then once it's warm, it's very hard to get it cold. Been making miles on the uh, competition. Got the, uh, the lead two ahead of me. They're about 50 miles ahead. And then the, uh, the other group of four are down here on my beam. So they're going, uh, they're going pretty well. I've been going a little bit faster in the last day or so. So I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, just heading south, trying to get to the equator, get to the doldrums as quick as possible. But still going to have to decide what I do about the Cape Verdes. Do I go leave them on uh, leave them on the port side? Do I go through them, or there's even the option to leave them on my starboard side? So it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out. Over the next uh, 24 hours, I see the wind increasing a little bit. It's going to need some more sail changes. Uh, so we probably see the speeds increase and the stress factor go up. Apart from the stress, all's good on board. <laughs> 